Hi guys, it's that time of the week again, so I'm in to show you some new stuff uh, that's come in. So, let's have a look at what we got. This is firstly from Avis. This is um, one of those kits you never thought you'd see in kit form, or it's only been in vac form or resin or whatever. This company is just doing so many new and, and interesting and kits you just never thought you'd see. They are limited. This is only 500 pieces, this one worldwide. This is the Stout Skycar 2. It's um, what the concept was, it was supposed to be a car, you put the wings on, then you put the wings, tuck them on behind a trailer, drive around with it and all the rest of it. So it's one of those weird little things that's just lovely to see. Uh, if you're looking for that different, unusual sort of kit, it's a great little thing. It's in 70 seconds car, so it's not, not a huge kit to, to, to do a lot with, but it gives you the rego. It's, it's, it's just, you know, it's just one of those kits that if you put it on your shelf, it's just different. So there's that one. From Mark One, who are normally doing 1144 scale aircraft, things like that. They've done a series, the series of Zeppelins a while ago. Well, now they've gone and done a series of the uh, K-type blimps and things like that. So there's three in the series, all with different markings. They're all slightly different versions of it. So you'll get different um, gondolas and stuff like that, different markings. They're all American. Uh, this one's got US Naval Reserve on it, uh, this one's just got US Navy K6 and this one has got the Fleet Defender which is just again US Navy. The, um, they're all in 720th scale so 700th you can get away with so I have heard of one guy that's going to build a 700 scale warship and have one of these tagging along behind it so it's going to be sort of a fairly tall and I'm not quite sure how he's going to do it so look they're um, they come with a little display stand as well so that you can hook them up to play show and tell with them. Um, look, they're a nice little model. No great dramas to do with them. As being a blimp, there's not a lot to it. So there's basically the kit, little stand, decal sheet, and it does give you a little base as well that you can sit them on. So look, if you're looking for something quick and easy and just a little bit different again, there's uh, them to play with. So there's three in the series so far. Um, so that should be quite, quite good. 700 scales or 720th scale, so there you go. Um, a couple of kits that are coming from Academy just recently. These are actually the old Accurate Miniatures kits, so you know they're going to be very, very good. Um, this one is the 48 scale Huckbeen H, uh, sorry, TA183 uh, jet fighter. This actually did become uh, they had a mock-up of it, they had all sorts of things done it, and I believe the Russians did play around with it to the point that this eventually led in a very roundabout way to becoming the MiG-15. Um, it's got a bit of ancestry in there, so it's quite good. The kit itself is just lovely. I've built quite a few of these uh, over the years for either myself or for other people. This is, um, there's, there's a fair amount to it. It's got a good wing plan. The cockpit's quite good. <clears throat> the uh, all the uh, intakes and everything else are very good very straightforward nice little detail on the uh, 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 wheelbase stuff like that nice clean cockpit uh, this particular version there's a bit of etched metal as well and a mask by the look of it in this one which didn't come in the accurate miniatures kit uh, this particular one you've got uh, quite a few choices of interesting markings you've got Russian German um, somebody else, some weird group uh, so you can sort of really play around with um, some of the schemes. It's a booklet type instructions. So as I said, there's, there's all sorts of different schemes you could do. And then of course you can mess around and do your own schemes as well because it never became operational as such. But in the 46 Luftwaffe, you could do what you like. You could do a captured ones. You can do all sorts of things. Do it. I think a, there was a decal sheet done by three guys that actually had a Japanese ones on it. So, you know, if you want to do something weird. Uh, again, from Academy, but via Accurate Miniatures, this is the uh, SBD2. I showed you the Vindicator uh, a couple of weeks ago. This is the Dauntless. Um, of all the Dauntlesses around, in, and it uh, used to be the Hasegawa was very, very nice. Uh, this is far and away the better Dauntless. If you're looking to do a good Dauntless with good detail um, and all the bits and pieces, this is a great kit. 48 scale again. <coughs> it's got all the all the things you expected from accurate miniatures. Uh, the dive brakes are separate and they're drilled out so that you can have them open and closed and whichever way you want to go. Again, the Academy have thrown in a mask by the look of it and again a little bit of etched metal for your seat belts which is interesting. 
Nice choice of markings. This is uh, Midway and uh, Pearl Harbor, I think that's this version. So you can do quite a few out of it. But again, the kit itself is just lovely. Very easy to build in the sense that everything fits together well. Just a great kit. Now, we showed you a while back the 737 Qantas from BPK. Uh, we sold out so quick it wasn't funny. They're back in stock now. Um, we've got plenty, so if you're chasing it to get another one, it's, we've got plenty. However, I did get in because people asked for them. That's the 800. This is the Lufthansa 200. So if you're doing uh, one of the gentlemen uh, sold one to the other day, he's going to do a New Zealand NCA one or NAC one or whatever it is. Uh, so if you're looking for, for a 200 to do some of the earlier um, kits, you can. And then you can go right back to the old original 737-100. This is in Singapore Airlines and Lufthansa. So if you're looking to uh, have the early version with the different engines and a few other bits and pieces different about it, then um, you can go for it. As I said, that one's got the different engines as well. So you can sort of almost do a family series of them. Essentially the same kit, uh, just different engine sprue, and I think it's a different, yeah, different fuselage sprue. So you can play around with that. Um, many, many countries flew them, including a number of air forces. So you can have a bit of fun with that. So that's the lot for today. Uh, just a bit of aviation stuff. So have a great day. Talk to you soon. Drop in and see us. See ya.